Hey everybody, sorry about this, I don't have a GoPro, I'm just kind of doing this on my phone and winging it. Um, I'm just moving some yard waste here, work for a facility. Um, did this lane clearing, running chippers, everything else for several years. Um, and that's how I got this job, we make mulch. Double shredded mulch, triple shredded mulch, black, brown, natural. Right now I'm handling yard waste that's not supposed to be going into a landfill due to the Ohio EPA. And uh, they bring it here in garbage trucks, landscapers drop it off, grass clippings, leaves, sticks, everything that grows in the yard. Uh, and occasionally things that don't grow in a yard, like metal, which messes up our grinders, but I did grass on that one. Um, but we're making compost that's used in athletic soils, specialty soils, garden soils, topsoil mixes, stuff that takes, you know, hundreds of years to make. In nature, we're making a combination of usually sand, clay, and sand helps with excessive water drainage clay is like a sponge holding the water for plants to use like your lawn and the organic material that they divide they get their nutrients from and this what we make is we grind it up let it sit screen it and add it to our topsoils which the topsoil plant is in a distance over there and uh, right there, there's our tub grinder that we were feeding the, earlier this week, actually most of this week. Um, right now I'm bailing the stuff up to make room for our screener to get in here. And we can screen some of the compost that's finished in the background over there. Um, so. Uh, a lot of different techniques being done, different ways of doing things. Um, I'm sitting on a pile that's shaky, you can hear that it's shaky, there's a fire extinguisher going off, really shaky behind me. Um, it's, everything's different uh, in the way we do things, it's space, yeah, uh, our yard is fairly big and run basically by three guys uh, that are operators. Um, sometimes with operations going on all over and one loader tending to two operations, uh, helping the other guys out, like a guy might be grinding and another guy might be making soil at the same time, uh, or coloring, mulch. So we do a lot of different things differently. And in the past weekend, I went and visited with my uh, friend Wade, Walter Wade on YouTube, Matt Cotton Top Free, and uh, talking with these guys. You know, they make some great videos about logging and the benefits of logging, proper logging, um, lots of different things going on with this uh, type of logging because they're all in different areas and what ends up happening is uh, they um, they do things differently with the trees that they have type of terrain they're dealing with um, and then you get these armchair quarterbacks that just seem to want to get in there and jab at people and I'm sorry, you, you know, what do you do for a living? What do you do? Can I come down and say, hey, you're the king of logging, you're the king of the chainsaws, you're the king of operating? Dude, I think there's guys out there that run these pipelines where they're chaining excavators up onto a hill to a dozer so they can get it up the hill. I got balls, boy. I got guys and landscapers that come in here and they see me on top of this pile and Yes, it spontaneously combusts, and I've got to climb it, dig it out, while people are fighting it. We're fighting fires with these things, and these things, um, doing it at night. I've got landscapers always coming in here. How do you fit your balls in that cab? I said, 
it. It's just a natural thing to do it daily. I just can't stand the fact when people come out and they start saying things that they don't have any clue about. You're only seeing something too deep. Okay? You're seeing it through a camera. You're seeing it through a picture. You're seeing it through a video. What is there? How steep is that ground? What the hell is going on? You know, who's who's doing what? You know, um, what are they dealing with? Are they dealing with something above them, below them, to the side of them? Uh, you know, I'm talking to these guys, I mean, I've gotten to the point where, you know, great guys, knowledgeable guys, and... Uh, Something stuck with me in my head because I've been friends with Walter Wade since he came on and seen Facebook, one of his Facebook friends, first Facebook friends, uh, with his crazy sense of humor. This guy's entertained me for years. And uh, what he does, some of the stuff is silly and crazy. It's entertaining. He keeps me amused, makes me laugh when I've had a bad day. Um, shows a little bit of logging, shows a bit of equipment, shows a bit about what he does in his life in a day. And uh, takes me back to reminiscing, takes me back to a bunch of stuff that uh, I used to do. Um, I'm not in the clearing business no more. I'm not in the woods, so it's kind of nice to see a video. Enjoy the fact that I get to see some of this stuff once in a while. Um, but all I can say is, man, some people just need to just chill, sit back, open their ears, get entertained by these guys, learn to like them. If you don't like them, don't watch them. But keep those, keep those idiotic comments to yourself. I just hate it. You know, some people come and tell me, you know, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Dude, I've been operating for a long time. Been doing this for a while. You know, everything I do is different from what everybody else does. I'm not working a dirt pile. I'm not curling the dirt into my bucket. I'm curling yard waste into it, and this stuff is like a sponge. I can tip off the side, things can give out. So, <clears throat> just so everybody knows, you know. Um, but right now, i got to go load a truck. So, uh, I'm going to jump out of the excavator, jump in the loader, and get to it. Y'all have a good day.